can never ever find the right words And there's no way this is real life There's no telling you Where are you, Johnny? What are you doing? What are you up to, buddy? Editing. Oh, you editing? Yeah. Um. Oh my lord. Am I allowed to see it? <laughs> no, not this one. What's this? This is the stock one. Oh, the stock one go, go, the go, go get in the car. Go get in the car. It looks so sick. So no one has seen the steering wheel other than me. I just got the shop. Anyways, guys, what's up, guys? Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to another video. Um, basically, I'm here at the shop with Jonathan. He's going to check out the car. We're going to do a few things to the car today. And uh, we're actually going to tear apart that steering wheel you just saw earlier. Yep. Um, anyways, I want to get Jonathan's reaction on the steering wheel because I'm in love. Oh, yeah, don't look. Turn around. Turn around. Well, I'm to look. Hold on. Hold on. I got oh, the doors unlocked. Okay. Okay. Go for it. Go for it. You want to hold your camera? Oh, you got it. I got it. You got it? Oh my god. <laughs> Look at the paddles, dude. Go sit inside, dude. Oh my god, it has carbon. Paddles. Dude. The paddles are from Keys and the wheels from. <laughs> and the wheels. Bro, it feels like a Lamborghini, dude. <laughs> it feels so good. Bro, this looks so yeah guys, basically, I don't know if you guys saw it, it looks absolutely insane. It literally finishes the interior. We obviously, I want to do a custom interior. We have a few more things we want to do to the interior, but um, as of now, this is a really good add-on. Something I do want to fix today is that left paddle, for some reason, I don't think I connected it, so I got to remove the airbag again and reconnect it, because it's not downshifting. It's only upshifting, it's not downshifting. Now before I fix the paddle, let's go over to our friends LND Solutions and just, just see if the, the seat belts that I wanted is going to match the color of the trim, because the trim is not the same as the wrap, and if the wrap and the trim and the seat belts are all completely different colors, it's going to look a little weird. So hopefully it's at least kind of close to the steering wheel. All right guys, leaving our garage, let's head over to L&D Solutions. It's a long drive, boys. I know, right? Just a ride. <laughs> All the way he's out right now, is he there? What's going on, bro? <laughs> you did tell it? Damn. Is that a Prius? <laughs> it's, uh, what's his name? Is your boy here? Dennis? Yeah. No, For real? Damn, I want to see if the seatbelts match the steering wheel. Oh, I think uh, Alright, cool, cool. Alright, so Dennis isn't here today, but we can at least see if the steering wheel matches with the seat belts. The steering wheel is a little different from the wrap, and then the wrap is a little different from the seat belts. <laughs> it's, I mean, we, we're, we're trying to get there. <laughs> but, end of the day, it's the theme. So, yeah, it'll be fine because it's gonna be over here. It's still gonna look good. Obviously, the concept is all orange and copper. It's all looking pretty much the same, so. Yeah, hopefully, Dennis is gonna be here on Monday. Monday. Okay. All right, so I just spoke to my boy's brother. We're gonna go ahead and bring this car inside and uh, just start working on it. I wanna go ahead and fix the paddle real quick. I don't think I plugged it in. And I wanna go ahead and tear the other steering wheel. That kinda sucks, it hurts, it hurts. But we're gonna set it back and then gonna go ahead and remanufacture it because that's what they do. They don't reuse the original leather. They completely remake the entire steering wheel. So they are completely cool with this. They told me I can go ahead and shred the steering wheel. So let's see what's inside of it. I really wonder, is it wood? Is it metal? Is it just like, what is it? Like what's underneath holding the leather? That's my curiosity question. Too much guys, uh, I just unplugged and reconnected it. I have the airbag light. I accidentally disconnected the airbag while the battery was plugged in. That was very stupid. I need to be careful when it comes to stuff like that. I could have lost an airbag. I could have lost my face. So yeah, I have the airbag light. I'm just gonna go ahead and code that out. I mean, not code it out, but what's it called? Uh, clear the codes. Hopefully it goes away, no issues. And then probably I'm trying to figure out if I can diagnose this light today, the emergency call, and maybe even code out the TPMS because I'm not gonna ever put TPMS in this car. I'm gonna constantly go from one set to another. It's gonna be very expensive to keep swapping over TPMSs. Yeah, I'm gonna see if I can get this this uh, issue diagnosed and hopefully clear up the airbag light right now. The airbag light is probably what I can do with the Carly real quick. Hey, and there we go. Airbag light's finally gone, so that is good. It's still clearing up a few other things. It might even take the emergency call away for a second, but it's probably gonna end up coming back because that one is a serious code. Airbag finally went away, so that means we are good to go on the steering wheel. Let's hope to God the paddle shifters work. I just go ahead and test it out real quick. So I don't know if you guys can see the P right there. So we're in Sport, we're in S1, S2, S1, okay, M1, there we go, finally, okay. So upshift works, downshift works, perfect. Okay, airbag light went away. I'm just gonna go ahead and take it for a quick little rip. I need to get a GoPro, honestly. And then I'll come back down here, hopefully diagnose a few other things, and then we're gonna cut open a steering wheel. Um, wish me luck. Yeah, and that's how my dash will look once I actually get the TPMS coded out and that error, error fixed. But dude, 
Guys, check that out. It looks so good. Oh my God, I love having a clear dash. That looks so good. Oh my God, the steering wheel. Oh my Lord. So one of the errors that I do want to deal with is this emergency call mount function. Let's go ahead and go into the trunk and see if the module is plugged in. Alright guys, so I'm just gonna wait for my coding friend to pretty much take over and he'll deal with that stuff later. As for now, let's just cut into the steering wheel. I bet you guys probably clicked on the video for that. It could honestly, from the looks of it guys, it could honestly just be metal, but who knows? So we're just gonna cut into it, why not? <laughs> so uh, here goes nothing. Oh God, dude. No <laughs> way. No way, dude. Okay. Are you serious? Right here, <laughs> sure let's cut on the seam. I feel like on the it would seam? be easier, right? It's gonna be harder. We, we can just cut it. Why not? Yeah. Oh God. <laughs> oh God. I never do? thought once in my life I'll ever do this. This is the nice one too. Oh. How can you live with yourself? How? <laughs> this is the steering wheel is going off to a better place. It's going off to a better place. It, it, it doesn't deserve to be here. It doesn't deserve. You know oh. I actually want to come from here. I want. I actually want to show. Yeah. Like, okay. Oh so, God, dude. This is piercing. Come up super close up to this. Oh no. Oh my god. <laughs> you did not. <laughs> oh my. This hurts. Dude, this is like multiple layers. What is this? The procedure they have to do. Oh my god. Okay, hold on. We gotta take a thumbnail real quick. Bruh, this is so good. Hold up. <laughs> oh lord. We're about to go through the second layer? I think so. I don't even know if we're supposed to be going this far. Huge shout out to Aza. <laughs> Broken it up. Broken it up. We, we might have just messed up your steering wheel. But. I think they do a whole new cast, so. Okay, well, I'm gonna step back. I'm not trying to get stabbed at me. Oh, it hurts. Okay. This, this used to be a hashtag save a BMW channel. It used to be. Guys, we're saving this steering wheel. We're making it. They're about to literally, what they made out of my steering wheel over there, they're gonna make out of this one. So, this could be one of you guys' steering wheels. When you guys get a custom order done, because they're just that literally is very true. It's crazy. They're That's literally true. because they rebuild it from scratch. They don't use anything from BMW other than the frame and all their stuff. It's completely custom, and that's what I love about their stuff. It's like one of one. You can literally have a flat bottom. You can kind of have it where Nick and the whole top is removed. Yeah. Like you saw where they cut this. Yeah. And no, dude, that, that steering really, was insane. It was like NASCAR stuff. Bro, this actually is like this was once. Oh, that's disgusting. That was the top, right? That was the top. Yeah. So that's where it was all like. Gross. This is what it looks like. So underneath so on this side right here, it's got kind of like a more of like an Alcantara feel. And then up here, it's like just straight leather. Um, like kind of hard rubber actually hard rubber not leather the stitching looks legit which I really like so it's actually like real stitching I always wondered if it was kind of stamped, but no, it's actually it's pretty interesting I'm gonna see if Ozzy can actually make uh, one of those racing steering wheels where they cut it right here Because it actually looks like it has the lines to be cut right there And then basically it's like a track racing f30 wheel So I don't know that'd be kind of sick to see man their work guys honestly like this was a pain just ripping all this apart Imagine you have to do the rest they spend a lot of time on these wheels. I actually respect the time they put into their wheels. <clears throat> this is the next morning, guys. I'm at my house. So I'm finally back at my, oh damn. I'm finally back at my house starting another, actually it's not another video. This is the day after. Um, I kind of want to put this all in one video for you guys. I do want to get all this stuff cleared off my dash. I'm trying to make this car as perfect as possible. I'm trying to pretty much have this dash fully cleared up and looking really good. So I'm going to head down to the shop right now and hopefully get all those lights fixed or at least diagnosed to figure out what we need to get fixed. I know the TPMS, I'm really not going to need it because I'm always going to be swapping out wheels on this car down the road. So I don't want to keep paying that extra cost to see like, you know, swapping over the sensors. That's a lot of money. And end of the day, it's just not worth it. I rather, I, I could feel when a tire, you know, is l low on air, I'll just go pump it up. It's not the end of the world. Anywho, Sears about to stop by. So we're going to wait on Sears, but um, let's go ahead and uh, quickly air up. Oh, is it aired up? Oh, there we go. There we go. Oh. All right, let's head out, bro. Let's go. Damn. All right, guys, we are officially here at the shop. So, see you. What's going on? 
<laughs> He's about to pull his car in here. We're about to actually start working on his car, do a few things to it. But at the same time, we're gonna get my car coded. So without further ado, uh, let me get all the computer stuff hooked up. We got a whole new computer, pretty much a whole bunch of new software. So let's go ahead and see if I can get all this stuff coded out. Uh, let's just get into it. All right, guys, we have Nick right now. He's extracting a few files. He's gonna be doing some coding, like I said, for the TPMS and then also the emergency call function. Uh, in terms of Sear over here, yeah, he's uh, he's making a mess in our garage. <laughs> Damn. Dang. That is leaking hella. Okay, well, uh, we got to Yeah, you guys can see it's all leaking. Oh, shit. We got to remove that tank. All right, guys, so I have Nick. It's actually super late at night. It's about 9.05 right now. So uh, he's still basically fine. I got all the programs downloaded. This is a brand new computer. I got a whole bunch of like newer things on this computer to make it a lot faster. But that does mean everything to diagnose wasn't on this computer. So you had to re-download everything. So it is a little bit late, but uh, hopefully we're gonna try to clear up the TPMS today or at least diagnose what's going on with the SOS. Obviously, we're not just gonna clear the SOS, so it's gonna cause issues. So we gotta figure out what's the issue so we can fix it. And the TPMS, we're just gonna code that out. We don't need it. It still has a flat monitoring system. So if I have a flat or I have something that's pretty low, it will tell me, which is nice. So I just wanna clear that, get rid of that stupid light, and then figure out what's going on the emergency call. So I'll let you guys know uh, once I get more intel. But you guys can see my com box is not, you guys can see that's the only thing red. So this, is, uh, this is actually the next morning. This is gonna be the day you guys are about to see the this video go up um so let's go ahead and just go down to vehicle info vehicle status check control we have remote control battery tp malfunction trunk open door open so uh all the top three is literally no big deal that would all go away once i just you know just just I don't, that's just all temp, just stupid stuff and then the tpms malfunction we're gonna go ahead and code that out and then we'll finally get rid of that light right there the sos light is finally gone so if you guys have the same issue with your car let me know i, I know two of you guys actually reached out to me on instagram saying so you had the same issue so everything was working in the car but yeah the sos issue that's most likely because somebody either fuse tapped or something and then basically caused an issue this is very common it's not a big deal just check your fuse 120 and check your fuse 128 if it's neither one of those it could be something actually wrong with the tcu but it's most likely one of those two fuses if your whole sound system is actually working sound wouldn't be working in a car if the tcu was actually fried anyhow i love y'all so much smash that like button if you guys enjoyed remember to stay humble i'll see you guys in the next one peace out yeah, yeah, let's go I ain't the first with the curse With the thirst that I wanna be better Not worse, man, it hurts I'm on this earth with my words And I put them all together in cert Cause I wanna have worth